All right, folks, welcome back. So we're into part three of our little seri series here of uh, refinishing the walls and ceilings in this mobile home. And the first uh, step in, uh, in, in, in refinishing the walls, uh, as far as the, the, the taping and muddying goes, is, is the taping part. So uh, there's basically three stages in this. Uh, the first one is the taping and, and uh, getting what we call the trim on, which is the corner beads. So I'll show you that, the corner bead in the next video. This video is just gonna concentrate on setting the tape, which is kind of the most important uh, part of this process uh, to get right. Uh, if you get this right, uh, everything's gonna go well for you uh, for the rest of the steps. Um, it's, you know, it's, again, it's nothing complicated. It's nothing really technical. You know, it's just a matter of doing things correctly. So, um, one of the, the major components of all this stuff is the drywall mud. And, uh, the, to get your, if you have your mud right, the consistency of your mud right, and you use the right mud, you'll have success. So, uh, I'm going to start off here by, uh, mixing some mud up for you and kind of showing you what the mud should look like uh, so that it's a, the right consistency for you to work. Um, if you get the mud at the right consistency, um, it goes very smoothly. If it's too stiff, um, it just doesn't, it just doesn't squish right. Like it just, it's hard to handle. Uh, if it's too runny, too loose, then it's kind of like going all over the place and it makes a really big mess. Um, you know, I like to keep things pretty clean. I mean, by the time I get to the end of this, I'm going to be, you know, covered in drywall mud probably, and you know my tools are going to be messy. But you know, try and keep as clean as you can as you as you go, and the consistency of the mud really uh, helps you with that. So I'm going to put the camera on my head here, and I'm going to show you uh, kind of how how do I mix up my mud, and uh, and we'll go from there. All right, so. As I showed you before, we you know we're we're buying this mud in boxes, and as it comes out of the out of the box, you know it's uh, it's pretty thick. I mean, you can see how thick this is. So you know we uh, it's way too thick to work with. So you know we we want to we want to water this down. All right. So I got my little bucket of water here, and I just take my mud pan. All right, and I just take you know about that much, and I'm gonna throw it in here like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my, my mud mixer, my drill, this is just a half inch drill here with the uh, paddle on it. Okay, I'm gonna stick it in here. And you can see like this is really thick. Okay, and so now uh, no, noise alert, I'm gonna fire up this drill. So if you're wearing headphones, you might want to uh, turn your volume down. But uh, I'm just gonna start mixing this and kind of show you how this goes. And you can see it's so, it's so thick that it spins the pail here. Okay, so you can see already how, you know, this is starting to loosen up and, uh, you know, when we, when we uh, mix it like this, what this does is it mixes the water in, but it also uh, introduces air into the mix, which uh, helps it more, be more, uh, I don't know, fluffy or whatever you want to call it, but it helps to spread it. All right, so I'm going to keep going here.
Okay, so I'm not going to bore you too much with this. Uh, you kind of see how how this goes. Uh, you can kind of see how much water I put in there for that box of mud. You know, this is a five gallon pail of mud. It wasn't a lot of water, but you can start to see, you know, how you see how this is starting to get different in texture. You know, this is becoming more, more loose. And so, you know, this is sort of a trial and error kind of thing. You kind of have to get a feel for this part of it. You know, if any part of this is difficult, getting your mud, getting your mud the right consistency is kind of the most difficult part of it. So, uh, you know, and I, you know, me, even me, I still get it wrong once in a while and I have to play with it a little bit. But basically, you know, you can always put more water in. It's hard to take the water out. So if you get it too loose, you know, you're kind of, uh, you know, you can't, you can't go back. So, you know, I would start with something like this. You know, you put this in your mud pan and then you go and start spreading it on the wall. But you can see how it's still, it still sticks to the trowel, but, you know, you can spread it. All right. It's not so thick that you can't spread it. Uh, if you do this and it's starting to like run off of the trowel, then you know it's too loose and you're going to have it like all a mess all over the place. But you can kind of see, you know, I, I don't know what to reference this to to give you an idea of like, you know, the consistency of this. But, you know, if you find that it's too stiff for you and it's not doing what you want, and it's hard to work with, you can always mix a little bit more water in it. And, you know, this is, uh, I'll use this up today and throughout the, the course of the day, uh, you know, I will... Uh, uh, you know mix it up a little bit again, but you can see this not much to it um, You do need a good mixer. You know this stuff. It's not like mixing paint. It's pretty heavy You know you got a pretty big paddle there. So you know you do need a substantial drill uh, You know if you have a little cordless drill then a paint a paint mixer, it's not going to do the job for you You're gonna have trouble with it All right, so now uh, I'm gonna show you uh, How we embed the tape on the joints? That's uh, that's the next that's the next thing here, folks. And I'm using my handy dandy phone here to control my GoPro. And I just push this and we're gonna turn off record. Okay, so we've got our mud mixed up here and we've got it in the mud pan. And so uh, the mud pan um, is just this tray, you hold it in your hand, okay? And then the, the mud pan has a metal edge on it and it has a plastic edge on it. So uh, you use the, the metal edge to scrape your trowel. Um, a little note here about trowels. Um, with this trowel here, you can see how this trowel comes down kind of straight like this, as opposed to some, some of them will cut in on an angle right, right from the tip. Uh, you want this kind of a trowel that has this uh, bit of a flat here. And, and this will help you. I'm going to show you how this is going to help you when you set the tape in the corner so you can create a nice square corner as opposed to if it comes in on an angle that you're going to be that corner that corner would be of the trowel would be digging into the tape and it creates problems it tears the tape all right so folks um this is kind of uh, a trial thing here um i debated on the best way to uh, show you this uh, you know set the camera on a tripod you know, then my arms and hands and stuff are going to get in the way. I, I don't profess to be a videographer. Um, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. So hopefully uh, this is going to work and you're going to sort of see what I see uh, with the camera mounted like this. So uh, hopefully this is going to, going to go okay. All right. So let's start over here. Here we have a patch. Okay. You saw lots of those patches around where I, where I did these patches. Uh, so uh, all we're going to do now is we get our our mud on our trowel. You know, you put a bit of it on here, and we're going to go like this. And what you want to do is press it in to the into the joint. All right, you want to go past, and you want to go past. Now I don't know if you can see it, but you can see like there's the joint right there. All right. So we clean the trowel, scrape, scrape. Okay, I've got some pieces of tape that are uh, set here, are pre-cut. Now you want to have a good layer of, of mud on that because that's what's going to make this all stick. All right, so you want to center up the tape over the center of your crack there, right? All right, and you just go like this, set it on there, and you can see how I'm holding my trowel. I'm not, I'm not up like this. I'm kind of on a pretty good angle and I'm going to draw it across the tape. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm putting pressure on there and I'm squeezing out the excess. All right, then I'm going to come back like this and I'm going to squeeze out the excess. 
So you see what I'm doing there? Now you don't want to squeeze it out so much. You know, you want a layer, a layer of mud in there because that the mud's going to be the glue. So what we've done there now is we've put we've put mud into that joint, squished it in there. Now we've got the tape on there. So when this all dries, the mud that's in this joint is going to kind of bind everything together. And the tape, what the tape does is it keeps that from breaking out down the road, right? Okay, so we're going to just take this here now. I'm going to do the bottom one. So the putting the tape on is kind of the most consuming part of this, uh, you know, because you're putting your tray down, you're putting your, picking it up, and, you know, it, uh, it just takes time. It gets easier as you further you get into this, all right? So again, you know, you can just see how a little bit of an angle that I've got going on there, all right? You see what I'm doing there? And I'm just scraping, just kind of scraping and pulling. All right. So now, now I'm going to do this one here. Now this joint here, I'm going to leave because I'm going to be putting a, a, a piece of tape all the way down this joint. So then that will take care of this when I do that. All right. So here we go again. So now you want to get your mud overlap the tape that you just put on there. Okay. So, you know, don't be shy with the mud. But you can see how it's not, you know, I'm it's spreading on nicely. It's kind of like icing on a cake. Um, you know, it's uh, not, I'm not, it's not dripping all over the place, uh, but you know, it's going on nicely. All right, so now we're gonna put this piece on top of that. Okay, again, you wanna have the, 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 the crack, the joint underneath there about halfway. Okay, now you can see how I'm just, you know, just see the angle of my trowel. And I'm not pushing really, really hard on this. Okay, I'm going slow here just to show you. I, you know, I usually go a little bit faster than this. So and then once you get it kind of all squished out, then you just sort of clean up here. All right, and that's how it should look. You should see the tape, you know, it's glued to the wall now. Uh, when we go to the next step, which is gonna be in the next video, well, that's gonna be called filling. And that's where we're gonna to start to put mud on this, to cover this, to blend it into the wall. Now, if your mud is too thick, when you go to do this, you know, when you're taking the mud out, um, it's not, it's not going to pull. It's a, you're going to have a hard time getting that mud to flow out from underneath the tape. So if that's happening to you, you know you need to thin your mud down a little bit. Okay, so that's a patch. Now, if we, uh, this patch was in the middle of the wall and we do this side, but again, here, since this is, you know, we're going to do this seam, we're going to do everything at once. All right, so now I'm going to show you uh, the flats. Well, actually, we'll do this one right here now, since we're here. Okay, so again, I've pre-cut some tape. You know, and that tape, again, is just coming off this, this big roll here. And so I just roll it out and cut it to the length that I want. All right, so now, just start up here, all right. Again, you just put it on, you know, get a get a nice layer on there like that. Nothing fancy, nothing tricky. You know, just got to get a nice get a nice layer on it there so you get a nice smoosh. All right? I'm filling that joint. You can see how it's see how it's coming back out here. It's telling me that I've got a nice full joint there. Okay, I just go all the way down. to the bottom here and I pull it up from the bottom okay and then I kind of for my reference I kind of mark it in the middle there just to make a scratch all right then you take your piece of tape and see the you know we know that this is the center up here we know this is the center so we just take this up and we push it up there like that Okay, and we're over the middle of the joint. Now you don't have to go right to the top because we're gonna be putting on another tape to tape out that corner there, right? And what we wanna do is just kinda, of, you know, guide this down here and press it in with our fingers. And you wanna keep it straight. If you, if, you, if you get it going sideways like this, you're gonna have problems with it wrinkling. 
So you want to have it, you know, down flat. <coughs> okay, you can see at the bottom here, I'm not quite to the floor. You don't need to go to the, to the floor. You're not going to have baseboards and stuff. So that will cover that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we have it kind of sitting there. Now all I do is I go <coughs> like this. So if you, if you kind of do this, it'll help set it so that when you start to pull, it's not going to pull down. If you start pulling it and you start to see your tape pulling down, then you just, all you have to do is just, you know, push on it and push it back up. Okay. So I kind of go lightly at first, just to kind of get it embedded into the, into the mud. And then I'll go back over it and now I'll press a little bit higher, harder. All right. Now, if you don't get this down, you know, kind of, kind of down like to the, to the drywall here, if it just gets too big, you know, then you're going to have to do a lot of filling, um, you know, in order to, in order to uh, compensate for that. So you want to get this down as flat as you can to the wall, right? You don't want to have a big build up underneath. Okay, and so you can see I got a little bit of a wrinkle starting there. So, you know, it'll work out. All right. So as you go, you see I'm taking the excess out. So I'm just pulling it off, you know, onto my trowel here. Okay, and get down to the bottom. Kind of do the same thing I did at the top. You know, again, you know, there's lots of trowels you can buy, lots of tools you can buy. You can buy mud boxes and all kinds of stuff. You know, the pro pros have their their uh, bazookas, they call them, that you know has the mud and the tape and everything. But you know, and uh, you know, those guys, they, they can really go to town. Uh, you know, we just do this. I do this once a year, so you know, I've got the time. Uh, I'm not in a rush. I can do it this way with my little trowel, and away you go. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what we do in a corner. All right, so we have this corner here, okay? So basically it's the same thing. We just start squishing our mud in there. All right, so you can just see how I just pick some mud up on my trowel here. And then, you know, put it in there like that. Then I'm gonna come back over here like this and start pulling some mud down there as well. Just like this. So when I was in business with my company, I did a lot of renovations and uh, we had a lot of jobs, you know, where you do a room or you do a repair or something. And, you know, I built a lot of houses and stuff where we hired tapers and, uh, but you do a small job, it gets, it's, a lot of guys don't like to do small jobs. You know, a lot of these guys, they just like to do the big jobs. And so, you know, it got to a point where I thought, you know, well, I'm waiting for these guys to come. You know, they're not coming. You know, when they do come, it's kind of expensive. They charge you a premium for, you know, these little jobs because, you know, it's time for them. And so I thought, well, you know, I'm going to see if I can do this myself. And so I, you know, got some tools and started playing around with it. And to be honest with you, I hated it. When I first started doing this, you know, it took me a while to get it all figured out with the mud right and all that. And oh, oh man, I had mud everywhere sometimes. And, and uh, I really did not like doing this. But I stuck with it. Again, you know, perseverance, you stick with things. Uh, you know, you, you, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And I'm to the point now where, you know, I'm doing a whole house. All right, so now we use the same tape all the way through. Now we get into the corner, and I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll kind of hold it by the light, but in the middle of the tape, you, there's sort of a little, it's pre-creased or whatever you want to call it. So now when you're doing the corner, when you're doing the corner, you just take and kind of bend it, you know, in that natural fold there. 
All right, so once we get it in that natural fold, then we are gonna come up here, and just like we did on the other part there, where we did that flat on that joint, now we're just gonna set that in there. Okay, so we just wanna kinda of push it in with our fingers. We don't wanna push it in too far. Okay, so you see I'm just kinda of just setting it in there. I'm not pushing it in really, really hard. I just wanna kinda of get it lined up and in place. Okay, again, you can see that we're not all the way to the floor. Baseboard's gonna cover that, no problem. All right, so now that I have that kind of set in there, you know, again, I just kind of go up there. Now, here's where you want the trowel. There, here's where it's important, where you have the, the trowel that comes out square, all right? So you can see now, as I go up in there, this edge of the trowel is against the wall. If I had a trowel that was like pointed like this, you know, angled, that would be digging into that corner. And you could see how that would be a problem. See how this, I don't know if you can see that, but you see how this kind of fits nicely in here? And how I get this nice square corner? So I learned that by trial and error. You know, I had some trowels that were pointy on the edge and oh man, I fought with those things. And then I figured out if I get a trowel like this, life goes a lot easier. And uh, so now you can just see how Again, I'm just going lightly there now, but I got the top kind of set there. Now, see when I come this way. Same deal, right? Okay, now that I got that set the way I want, I just go back over it, you know, pressing firmly, but not crazy, all right? Not crazy. And then I just clean up my mud, and now that's ready. For the fill so in the next video i'm going to show you how we're going to fill this we're going to change trowels It'll be a different trowel this is what i call my taping trowel okay so again i'm just going to go all the way down here now with this all right so there you can see how much excess mud i'm pulling out All right, so now, now you can also see while, we, while we're here, you know, we've got these various holes and see there's a ding on the wall there from before and my screw holes. And so you, uh, you know, you just put some mud on your, on your trowel here and you just go like this, all right? That's all there is to that. All right, now, uh, You know, it's gonna take another two or three times because this, what happens is this mud shrinks back, right? As it dries, it shrinks back. So then you're gonna still have a little divot there. But, but basically, you know, just, just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how we do it around the ceiling, um, where the wall meets the ceiling. And this is kind of a little unique situation here. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. But basically when you have a, a corner like this, it's the same as, as that, all right? Now, there's a little progression that I have that I do um, when, I, when I tape these out, uh, is I start with all of my, my flats, like any of my flats. I'll show you in another room there that, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so here what we have is up here, we have a vaulted ceiling. So this ceiling is a little bit of an angle here. And what we have up here, is if you have any loose paper like this, you just kind of want to tear it off. So what we have here, uh, originally they had a, a crown molding here to cover this. So we want to take and have that all taped in. And we want to have it look like, like this, all right? Smooth, nice transition there. It's gonna go from the wall to that. We don't want any moldings. Moldings are really not a contemporary thing. All right, so the problem that we have with this is that our tape 
on the angle is not going to give us enough coverage here. And some of the other places, like if you look down the way there, you know, the drywall is quite a bit short from the ceiling. So you have, you'd have a problem with that. Now I'm just going to do a short section here to show you. Uh, normally I would do this whole section in, in one here, but uh, it's too, too long to do to show in a video here. So again, what I do is I take and you know, fill it with mud. All right. So you can see that that piece of wood that's back in there is quite far back in from the, from the drywall here. All right, so I'm just gonna go like this. Okay, and went over that divot, but you can kind of see how I'm filling that gap there with the mud. All right, so I got my mud on there. All right. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my piece of tape And this is called flat tape, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this on the flat. I'm not gonna bend it to that, to that corner yet. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna deal with that. So this is basically a flat tape. Now, if you had, um, you know, an older mobile home where you've got those tile ceilings and you've got the wood paneling or you've got drywall and you wanna get rid of that molding where the two join, you could do this. You can put this up against that ceiling tile you don't have to tape onto the ceiling tile you can just tape up to it so you put this piece of flat tape on here like this all right so now you can kind of see how i've filled that okay and again to be clear like normally i would do this all the way down at one time but uh, you know for the sake of the video here we're we're going to do it like this so again you know we're just see how my trowel is following along the ceiling there Okay, and I'm just squishing out the excess. Okay, so now that I've got it to that point, I still need to, I still need to tape this corner in. If I don't tape this corner in, this is gonna crack. All right, so now that I have that set, I put some mud on top of that. All right. So any, you can do that, and you can do this anywhere you have big gaps, all right? This is just a, a little technique for that. All right, and then you want to come back out onto the ceiling like this, all right? Okay, so now I've got a bed of mud. Oops. I've got a bed of mud there going both ways. Okay, just want to make sure. So now, again, I just take this. Again, and fold it on that naturally occurring thing that's built into the tape. I'm going to set this up in here. Now here you have to be careful not to press too hard because you can press, you know, into the mud where you, where there's that gap is, right? All right, so I'm just going to lay that in there like that. Okay, now I'm going to come in and I'm going to start on the bottom first because the, that's what's going to keep me straight. All right, I do the bottom first like this. So I've done that pull through there lightly. All right, I'm gonna go through there one more time. And I'm just pressing up a little bit, lightly up against the ceiling there, okay? Now I'm ready to come back here like this and pull it through like this. Now, what's the interesting thing about these mobile homes is that when they build them in the factory, all right, now you want to make sure, you, I don't know if you noticed, I had that little ripple there. You don't want to leave that little ripple there. You want to work on this until you get it like in there. All right, now I'm just going to come back one more time through here. And I'm just making sure that I'm up against the ceiling with that. All right, now you can see how, you know, I got a pretty nice sharp corner in that, right? Again, now once this dries, the next stage, this is gonna get filled out. We're gonna fill it out this way and we're gonna fill it out that way and the tape's gonna get covered. You won't see any tape. 
Okay, but then you just go like that all the way down, down the way. You would use the same technique for that. I'm just gonna put this down. You'd use the same technique for that. I'm gonna take the camera off of my head here now. So you would use the same technique that I just showed you there on a place where like this. Okay, you can see we've got these huge gaps here in the corner. So that's gonna be pretty tough to, like especially down there, you can see like the half of the tape is not gonna cover that. So you're gonna to have to do that flat tape thing first and then do your corner. All right, now, so I've gone ahead and I've done some, some work. I've been working away at this. So getting back to kind of sh telling you how to, how, to pro how, to, how to do this, like the progress, the order that you do this. So uh, what I do is I do any of these joints first okay it's horizontals i do all my horizontals first okay then i do all of my verticals so all of these up here okay in the corners like all of these verticals and then i do the the ceiling joint so, so that way you get up uh, things overlapping nicely and you don't end up with any gaps in your tape and it just kind of brings it all together okay so you can see already how, I mean, this is just the tape coat and you know how we would fit filling a bit, you know, when there's little things and stuff. So now the next coat's going to fill this and then uh, after that coat I do a sand and then I do the final coat. Okay, so you can just see how this like right away things start to look better. Okay, I'll show you in the back here as well. I've been doing some of the back. So I've been at this, you know, for, I don't know, day and a half um, to get to this point. You know, this is the most time consuming part. So here, you know, I've got this little area all done out. So you can remember the mess that this was here. It's all, the gaps are all filled now. Okay. And this is the master bedroom. And you can see you know, all that ugliness is starting to disappear. You can just see how this is all starting to blend together. Okay, here we've got the new drywall, you know, the old drywall, old Vipsum panels met the new drywall, and then on the ceiling we've got the old drywall. And you can just see how, you know, how we're getting this nice clean crease around there where the wall meets the ceiling. You know, no more moldings. The moldings are very, you know, mobile homey. Okay, here in the bathroom, got this all done. So you see how we've got these nice, nice sharp corners in here. So and that's just, you know, getting that mud out, the excess mud out of there. And see, you know, now we have for our next coat, we've got a nice base here to start, you know, for the fill coat. And the fill coat's gonna come out, you know, further out, start to cover this all up. Likewise with this. But this is what it looks like when it's dry. Okay, folks, that's how you set drywall tape. So the, uh, the next uh, thing up is gonna be the corner beads. So we're gonna have the corner beads uh, on the corners here. I'm gonna show you how we put those on and also like around the, uh, the panel here um, and around the furnace, we're gonna do some, something that's called trim uh, to cover this raw edge. Uh, yeah, you're gonna see how that all gets installed. That's gonna be the next video. Uh, so I hope this worked for you. I hope we got some good coverage of this uh, and that uh, that kind of helps you uh, see how you know how this comes together again it's not hard this is the the tape the tape uh coat is the hardest coat to do and just because you know you've got to get that tape in the right place otherwise if you don't have that in the right place you're gonna have trouble going forward from here you can't make any mistakes if you make mistakes going on from here you're just going to sand it off and, and just put more mud on and try again all right, folks, thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you on the next video. We'll get into setting those corner beats. Bye-bye. Okay, uh, one more thing just before we wrap this video up. For, for those of you that have stuck with me to the end here, it's a little bit of bonus footage for you. 
Um, and I appreciate you watching the whole video and sticking with me. But, uh, you know, before I showed you where uh, these seams in this bathroom, um, somebody had used that fiberglass tape, that mesh tape, instead of the paper tape. And I showed you how those, those, uh, those had failed, okay? Every, you know, every place in here where they've done that, you know, that's failed. Here's another one you can see. Like it's just completely failed. And i get the better light here. So just the way I'm going to fix this is I'm just going to, I'm just going to go right over top of this. So with my paper tape, just like I, I do, and that's going to correct this. So that's how we're going to handle that. All right, folks. Thank you.